I have a story to share with you, one that has been extremely impactful to the women in my community, and it's the story of how I was able to give birth to four beautiful baby girls and be able to walk around town in the same size jeans I wore back in college. Yes, I'm here today to say anything is possible when you put your mind to it. And if you are determined to lose the mommy tummy, to lose the excess baby weight, to go down on the scale and to look and feel better, you can do this. When I was pregnant, I knew I didn't want my body to hold on to the excess baby weight forever. I just didn't want to look pregnant forever. I had a plan to do something, but something that would ultimately help my body to bounce back, right? I wanted to get my body to like just go back to the way it was, but I had no idea what that plan was going to be. I had a plan, but I just didn't know how to execute that plan. I just knew I needed to do something. And you're probably thinking the same thing, right? I need to do something for my body, but I just don't know how or where to start. Well, let my story inspire you today and guide you into how easy this postpartum fitness journey can be. I know you can do it. I know if you put your mind to it, you can do this. And I know you can get your body back to being strong and healthy again. So listen in to how I did it after having my four babies and get inspired by my story. Are you ready? Let's go. Are you finding it hard to keep up with the demands of motherhood because your energy is always low? Is your weak core holding you back from feeling strong and confident in your postpartum journey? Do you avoid looking in the mirror because you're not happy with what you see? Hey mama, welcome to the Fit Postpartum Mom Podcast, where you'll learn how to reclaim your energy, strengthen your body after pregnancy, and finally say goodbye to the postpartum pooch in less time. Hi, I'm Dr. Jenna, but you can call me Jenna, and I'm a physical therapist, wife, and mom of four girls who has cracked the code on how to strengthen your core postpartum in the easiest and safest way possible. I too struggle with my postpartum fitness journey as a new mom, but now I'm stronger than ever and I'm here to help you do the same without the stress, exhaustion, or struggle. If you're ready to fit fitness into your busy schedule while you navigate your postpartum journey and stay motivated along the way, then you're in the right place. It's all about progress, not perfection, and I'm here to help walk you through that journey to feeling strong, confident and energized that energy comes from within not your coffee let's roll out that yoga mat girl it's time to do this all right i'm going to start way back in my story back in high school when i loved to dance i was um an ex-soccer player i played soccer back in elementary school and middle school, but then I transitioned to cheerleading and I just joined cheerleading because I love to dance. I'm like, well, let's, let's just try it. And my friends were doing it. I loved it. I loved doing cheerleading and I was the flyer and it was just a really good time, but I really ultimately loved working out in my bedroom. That's where I got into fitness. I would just play some workout videos on TV in my bedroom and I would work out there with my little dumbbell weights that I still have. I think they're five pounders, <laughs> but I, um, that's how I got into exercise and fitness was just watching these workout videos. But when I got into college, that was a different story. That's when I started working out in the gym. I used all the gym equipment. I started experimenting with different, you know, muscles and body parts. And I was just like, this, this is great. I love it. But I also started the athletic training uh, program at my college. And so that was just a part of my world was, you know, going to classes right next to the gym, working out of the gym. That was just everything for me. Um, so I've always had a love for fitness and anything revolving around the body. But then I also transitioned into physical therapy school. And that's where I met my husband. And it was a great experience. We were both into health and fitness, learning everything that we could learn about physical therapy. And I ended up getting an internship in the Women's Health uh, Organization of UPMC. I learned a lot there, learned so much. But the crazy thing is, the things that I learned there when you're pregnant and you're postpartum, you sort of forget, you forget like, oh, I can apply 
this information to myself, you know? <laughs> and so, you know, you don't really think about it as like you're your own patient when you're a physical therapist. You use that information for your patients, but when you're in the middle of pregnancy and postpartum, you sort of forget how to use those skills for yourself. But I'm jumping ahead. So yes, we got married. My husband and I got married after physical therapy school and we had our first baby. This was back in 2012. And yes, I did all my research on how to take care of my baby, how to breastfeed, sleep training, all those things. But when it came time to myself and postpartum recovery and how to take care of my body after going through pregnancy, I did not do any research at all. I was like, yeah, I got this. I know what I'm doing. But really, I didn't because I was such I was in such a brain fog of focusing on my baby that I forgot what to do for myself. And you know, I'm a physical therapist. You'd think that that would just like snap right back into place. Like I would know what to do, but it was really that difficult to think about taking care of a baby and taking care of my body at the same time. And I'm guessing that you're going through the same thing. Like you're so focused knee deep into childcare and baby care. Maybe you're actually trying to go back to work and figuring out how to go back to your job The last thing you're thinking about is how to take care of your body, but I'm here to tell you that we need to take care of our body. And the sooner we do, the better you like, you won't regret it. If you are further along in your postpartum recovery, you just got to start now. You got to take care of your body now. So I was clueless. Like I said, I was newly postpartum, didn't know how to take care of my body. My brain was a big blur, big brain fog. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try working out. I'm going to try to do some things to help get rid of this postpartum pooch to help get rid of the baby weight. But I, you know, I struggled. I tried random things. I did make exercise a priority eventually. Um, so that was something that was like front of mind for me. It was like, I need to do something, but I didn't know what to do. And I just didn't want my body to like slip away. I didn't want it to be like in that postpartum pooch phase forever. So I did end up talking to my sister-in-law who's had multiple babies by this point and she looked really good. Like she had her body back in shape after pregnancy. And I asked her, I was like, what did you do to get your mommy tummy to go back to normal? And she told me that she would wear postpartum belly wraps. So I was like, okay, this sounds amazing, pretty simple. So if you want more information on postpartum belly wraps, I have a ton of information on my blog, Live Core Strong, and I will definitely share with you the link to my favorite postpartum belly wrap that she recommended for me. It's a belly bandit postpartum belly wrap. I am an affiliate for them, but this was like the starting point for me that helped me realize like, wow, my stomach can go back to normal by just wearing a belly wrap, but then also combining the belly wrap with exercise. Because I knew the belly wrap wasn't going to do everything for me. It was a way to get my uterus to shrink back, but it wasn't a way to strengthen my core. And I know as a physical therapist that we have to have muscle, we have to have core strength in order to prevent injury and to have good posture, especially when we're breastfeeding. And I felt like I was always slouching when I was breastfeeding. So I was like, I can't be slouching anymore. I need to sit up straight but I was fatiguing so quickly when I was trying to sit up straight because I didn't have the muscle strength. But once I got that muscle strength back, sitting up straight and having good posture and being able to hold my baby was so much easier. So eventually I did get my body back into shape. It was a slow process. It was confusing for me. I was afraid that I was going to be doing the wrong things. A lot of fear around this, right? And you're probably feeling that same way too, just like afraid to get started or afraid that what you're doing is not working or what you're doing is the wrong exercise that you could get hurt. So obviously I, you know, I went back into my physical therapy training to, you know, dive a little bit deeper into this because eventually I got out of the brain fog. Eventually my baby started sleeping better and I was able to figure this stuff out a little bit more clearly but I didn't want to overdo it either. I didn't want to mess up my breast milk supply by exercising too hard. Uh, I was exhausted some days where I felt like I couldn't do anything. It was just a big roller coaster. And that's what my first baby, my first postpartum recovery was like. And you might be feeling that right now. You're like, yes, Jenna, this is exactly what I'm dealing with and I don't know what to do. Well, Good thing is I had more babies after that and I fine-tuned my postpartum recovery process. So here, this is where things get a little bit more interesting. 
I started to have more clarity after having my second, third baby. I was like, I got this. I can take care of kids pretty easily now. I know how to breastfeed. I know how to sleep train. I know how to do all the baby things. Now I'm going to focus more on myself. And so I started to develop a routine around exercise and a routine that involved my babies working out with me and my toddlers working out with me. I got them involved. And that was key because it is unlikely as a postpartum mom that we're going to find this ideal time to work out and you know, be alone and do this perfect workout without our kids being around. Our kids are almost always around unless you get that perfect nap time right in the middle of the day where they're all sleeping at the same time, which is possible. I did that with my kids. But if you are just struggling to get that time alone, we might want to start thinking about working out with your kids with you just to start exercising. And they're going to love it. They're going to have so much fun. So yes, with my second and third baby, I started to develop a routine around exercise. I had schedules in place, nap time schedules were in place, and I kept health and fitness in the front of my mind. So this is key. If you want to have a stronger body, if you want to lose the baby weight, we need to be thinking about exercise and fitness more often. And that's why I have this podcast to help you stay connected with routines and fitness and health and everything around, you know, your body. I want you to get stronger. And I'm hoping that this podcast is helping you to, to think of those things more frequently and not just every so often. We really should be thinking about health and fitness daily. This is a new mindset shift that we are trying to do as postpartum moms is our body is so important and we have to take care of our body if we want to take good care of our babies. So I hope you believe in that with me. So I felt more confident in my exercise choices by this time around. By the second and third baby, I knew exactly what exercises worked and what exercises I should avoid, which ones didn't work, which ones were dangerous. I just had more clarity around the whole thing. And I made the exercises so simple, so simple that it didn't take a lot of time. I didn't focus on all these other things like you know upper body and lower body. I just focused on the core. If I didn't have a lot of time to work out to begin with, why would I think that I would have time to do my entire body of total body strengthening? No, I just focused on what was the most effective core exercises and I started to see really great progress really quickly and then it built my confidence up and then I was excited to do more. So it was like a ripple effect, okay? So I just want you to imagine that, you know, just focusing on the core early on can really do wonders for a postpartum mom. You don't have to do what you were doing back in college. All right, so I got my exercise routine sort of fine-tuned at this point, and then I had my fourth baby, right? So time went on. I had my fourth baby, and I was, you know, several weeks postpartum. I'm going to guess around the sixth, sixth, seventh, eighth week postpartum, and people started to notice that I was getting my body back into shape really, really quickly after just having a new baby. So even around that 10-week time, I would say that my body really got back into shape. Like I was wearing, um, you know, my normal size pants, maybe just one size pants higher, but I was really close around. I just remember around 10 weeks is when things really felt great. I was feeling really good in my clothes. I'd open up my closet door. I'm like, okay, I can wear this again. My confidence was so much better. And yeah, I was walking around with my four kids, my baby and toddlers and five-year-old. I think my oldest was five when I had my fourth baby. And people were just like, wow, like how is she doing this? Like how is she getting her core to get that strong and to lose the baby weight that fast after having four kids? So that's really when I started my blog, Live Core Strong, was around this time because so many people were asking me questions like, what exercises did you do? What did you do to get your belly to be that strong after having four kids? And I realized, wow, you know, moms are struggling with this. And I had to think back to what I was struggling with back in my first baby is like, you know, you just don't know. You just don't know what to do. Even though it might sound simple, there's just so much, you know, going on in our brains as new moms. It's like you forget the simple steps to take to lose the baby weight. And so that's when I started my blog, Live Core Strong, and I really started helping moms 
figure out this whole postpartum recovery thing and how to lose the baby weight around the core. So I developed a program at this time that really was strategic. It only involved the most effective exercises that did not take a lot of time at all because I know I've been through it. I know you're going through it too. We just have little energy and you have little time to put into working out. That's just the reality of things. So I did my workout program. I followed it to a T. I started seeing amazing results. My students started seeing amazing results and things just worked so well. So I just want to encourage you that if you are really focused on getting rid of the postpartum pooch, if you don't want to have that baby weight forever, maybe you want to have another baby in a year or two and you're like, I want to get my body back now so that I don't add on the baby weight with each pregnancy. That's a common thing that moms think about is just they don't want to have this baby weight adding on baby after baby after baby. So I want to encourage you to really focus on the core exercises and avoid, not necessarily avoid, but if you are really strapped for time and really strapped for energy, like you don't have energy and you're just overwhelmed with all things, it's okay to just work on the core. So I'm giving you permission right now. I want this to be something that you really remember is it's okay to just work on the core and you will see amazing results in time. So I have all my core exercises mapped out in my program. It is called Postpartum Ab Rehab. It is a 10-week program that maps out everything I did in my fourth postpartum recovery. And it's There are calendars and there are worksheets and there's everything there laid out for you along with accountability and motivational, inspirational quotes and affirmations, but also a lot of information on schedules and routines and time management, because I know that's a hard thing for postpartum moms is how do you find the time to do these workouts? Well, the great thing is the program only requires you to do 10 minutes of exercise a day. It's super simple. And I just help you find the 10 minutes of time and be consistent with it. So my students right now are loving the fact that they are finding that perfect time in their day to get their 10 minutes in. And then it's, you know, smooth sailing from there. So I really spend a lot of time at the beginning of the program helping these women find the time in their day that works perfectly with their work schedule or with their baby's sleep schedule or with their energy levels. It's just a beautiful thing when it all comes together. So I want to wrap up right now, just summarizing what we talked about and giving you six key takeaways from today's episode. So number one, keep health front of mind. So work out in your mind when you can't work out. So if you know that you just don't have time to work out, I want you to keep working out in your mind. So this is how you keep health front of mind. It's just you are constantly thinking about health and fitness and nutrition, keeping it in your mind constantly throughout the day. Okay. So this is a real mindset shift that you have to make, but this is key to success. So even through the busyness of life, I want you to work out in your mind. Think about the core. Think about strengthening the core in, in your mind. Okay. So that's number one, keep health front of mind. Number two, only focus on the core at the beginning, because that's all we need to spend our energy on at the beginning, okay, as new moms. If you want to lose the postpartum pooch and that's important to you, just focus on core strengthening only at the beginning. Number three, don't spend a lot of time exercising doing unnecessary workouts. So if you want to get rid of the pooch, just do the core, okay? So I don't want you to focus on your biceps and building these big bulky biceps, and I don't want you focusing on toning your glutes, all right? We are just doing the core. So this is so important, right? But along the lines with that, I want you to wear a postpartum belly wrap. So wearing a postpartum belly wrap can really improve the speed of your recovery. So if you don't know what postpartum belly wrap to to wear, I will link some information for you down in the show notes, along with my affiliate link for Belly Bandit. Number four, I want you to focus on strategic exercises 
that are the most effective. And this is all mapped out in my program, Postpartum Ab Rehab. All you have to do is go to livecorestrong.com slash program. You can sign up right now. We are increasing the price come January. We are more than doubling it because the program has completely evolved and has a lot of coaching involved now. But if you want to get your hands on it at this low price, this is by far the best time to do it. You can get the exact steps, the exact exercises that I did, and you can have your core fully restored in just 10 weeks. All right, so you can get your hands on that right now before the price goes up in January. And if you feel like you don't have time right now to actually do the exercises, you can join right now and just shoot me an email and say, I'd like a delayed entry and I want to start the program in January, but you want to purchase it now, feel free to do that. You can email me that and I will do that for you. I know the holidays can be really hectic. All right. And the last tip I have for you, tip number five is to follow a plan and take the thinking out of it. So with this plan, I don't want you to think anymore, right? We are so busy and I know you're thinking about so many other things, but if you follow a plan, you don't have to think as hard. We can take the overwhelm out of the whole process and you can just get it done practically in your sleep. I have moms in my program that say that they have these exercises fully memorized because they're so simple and they don't have to think about it anymore. It just is an automatic process. And that's just within a month of doing the program. So you can get some quick results and really just memorize these exercises so quickly because they're so simple and you're going to Keep these exercises with you for a lifetime. This is a lifetime change, right? You want to have a strong core for the rest of your life. And then you can start doing the things with your kids that you absolutely love to do. As they get older, you can do it with them. So I hope that you feel encouraged and motivated today to strengthen your core. It is something that I'm extremely passionate about. And I just want to help you as you go through your postpartum recovery. And just remember to always live core strong. Hey mama, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, would you take 30 seconds and leave a five-star review on Apple Podcasts? It would bring me so much joy. Simply scroll down to the stars and click write a review. Your review will help more women discover our podcast. Let's grow this fit mom movement together. And if you want your friends to come alongside you on this postpartum fitness journey, invite them to our free Facebook group where you can get motivated together. Community is key to success. And that's what I want for you. So join ours by going to the link in the show notes. And before you know it, the baby weight will be falling off as quickly as those stinky diapers. I can't wait to see you on the next episode of the Fit Postpartum Mom Podcast.